Hey guys and welcome to another video here on our channel The Guide. I'm Benjamin, also known as Taz, and today I have a very special topic for you. It's about the skill moves. Everybody wants to do the fancy skill moves. Everybody wants to destroy his opponent. And in this video, I'm going to give you the top 5 of basic skill moves. Okay, I know this doesn't sound very exciting, but there are some major advantages of using basic skill moves. First of all, almost every player is able to do the basic skill moves and also because they are basic, they are easier to pull off. And now in FIFA 20, one versus one is highly relevant and these basic skill moves can be a very vital and helpful tool to react to a lot of different situations. And therefore they should be a part of the core of your attacking play. Before I lay out some groundwork for skills in general, I just want to briefly remind you that you can join our The Guide Discord server. You will find a lot of people on there who are interested in getting better at FIFA, are up for training matches and also help each other with building squads or player recommendations. The link to the Discord is in the video description. So now, before we come to the first skill move, we start with some important stuff about it. First of all, skill moves are always relative to your viewing direction. We will explain the input for every skill move in the training arena, but the direction of the input might change as you can see in the examples in the background. Successfully pulling off skill moves is not only about the right input, but especially about timing. For this, it does help a lot if you are aware of one of the most important concepts of playing FIFA, the relevance of ball contacts, because ball contacts have a huge influence on the timing for your actions. We already have a video published about this concept. The video is based on FIFA 19, but the concept still stands and I highly recommend to watch this video because it's extremely important not only for skill moves. You can click in the top right corner to get to this video or you can find the link in the video description. To explain the input for the skills, we are going to show you a controller with live input. You can see exactly what I did with my controller. I know that sometimes it's not as easy to follow because it can be really quick, but the advantage is that you have the most realistic way for the input. So if you have problems to recognize the input, I recommend either to re-watch certain segments or to use the slow motion function of YouTube. And now let's start with the top 5 basic skill moves. The ball roll is a 2 star skill move and therefore can be performed by almost every player. With the ball roll you move to the side and slightly change your angle. It can be done in two directions. For a ball roll to the left, you have to move the right stick to the left and hold it for about one second. When you move the right stick to the right, you perform the ball roll to the right side. You can also change several ball rolls by holding the right stick in one direction, but it's not as quick and you also have to adjust the directions of the sticks as the angle is slightly changed after each ball roll. There are several situations at which you can use the ball roll. The first use is to do the ball roll to initiate a turn and by this you secure ball possession against an opponent which is challenging you from the side. You do the ball roll away from the opponent and then do the turn so that the opponent can't get to the ball. It can be also used to beat an opponent which is in front of you and actively trying to get to the ball. With the movement to the side you avoid the opponent, pass him on the side and can keep going forward. You can also perform the ball roll to set up a shot on goal inside and around the box. It can be used to get a slightly better angle, avoid an opponent and also to set up a finish on a certain foot. For example, if you do a ball roll to the left, your player is going to shoot with the left foot. The drag back can be performed by players which have 2 star skill moves or more. It consists of two parts. The first part is dragging the ball back. You do it by holding R1 or RB and pulling the left stick into the opposite of your current viewing direction. Now your player only drags the ball back and stops. The second part makes this move so intriguing. After you initiated the drag back, you can follow it up with an exit move in every direction. You do this by holding the left stick in the corresponding direction while the player does the drag back. So first, you initiate the drag back by holding R1 or RB and pulling the left stick back and when your player starts doing the drag back, you change the direction with the left stick to determine the direction of the exit. The exit move in a direction makes this move so powerful. The first part looks always the same, but your opponent can only guess in which direction you're going to follow it up. 
So this move can be used to outmaneuver your opponent to create space or goal scoring chances if you find the right way to exit to surprise your opponent. You can also use this move to quickly change your running and viewing direction. This is a helpful tool to change the general direction of play. This is a concept which we'll have a dedicated video about in the near future. The dragback gives you a lot of room for creativity and also mind games with the opponent. Mixing it up with the direction of the exit move is crucial to always have your opponent guessing. We might release a dedicated video about this, how to get the most out of it. So if you're interested in it, let us know about it. The step overs are another 2 star skill move, but this doesn't give away how much damage you can do with this move. Similar to the drag back, you also have two parts for the step overs. The first part are the step overs itself, but the real power comes also with the exit move, which is a quick change in direction after the step overs. Basically, the step overs are the tool to be able to do the exit move. So let's start with the step overs itself. For this, it's all about 90 degree rotations. When you're standing, you can do a normal step over with the left foot by moving the right stick from top to the left in a 90 degree rotation. If you go to the right, you do the step over with the right foot. You can also do a reverse step over by going from left to top or right to top, always in a 90 degree rotation. You can also change step overs like that while standing. The mechanic changes a little bit when you're running. Since FIFA 19, you only have to do one 90 degree rotation for a normal step over to then perform up to three step overs. You trigger the first one, the next two are done automatically. As soon as your player is doing step overs, you can change the direction with the left stick to go for the exit move in the direction of the left stick. So first part is to initiate the step overs with the right stick and then you can go for the exit with a change of direction of the left stick. As you can see here, you can be really creative in what kind of way you use the step overs. So how long you do them, what variation you use, normal or reverse, and in what direction you do the exit. Take some time on the draining ground to practice and get a feel for the right timing between right and left stick. With the step overs, it's all about the exit move and the change of direction by it. You can use it to surprise your opponent by a rapid change of direction that he didn't expect. So use the step overs to especially beat your opponent in a 1 vs 1 and create space. With a proper execution, you can get passed by an opponent very closely and catch him off guard. They are also especially useful to create a goal scoring situation. Since your opponent does see the first part, the step overs, and then is going to expect a change of direction, it does also come down to a lot of mind games with the use of step overs. What does your opponent expect and how can you counteract this? This does also have some potential for a standalone video in what kind of situations you can use the step overs the best. So let us know if you want to see that. Before we come to the next skill move, I want to point out one thing. With this skill move, it's all about the exit move. But to get to this, you have to prepare it with the step overs. So it does take some time and you can't change direction almost instantaneously. This is a little bit different with the next move. The input for the fake shot is always the same, but to explain you every possible variant and how to use it best, we definitely have to do a dedicated video on this, or more likely several videos, because this skill move is extremely versatile. You can do a fake shot while running, standing or to get control of the ball. You can use it to change direction or to get standing still. First off, let's start with the basic input. You power up with the shooting or crossing button and then cancel this action by pressing the passing button. That is the foundation of the fake shot. Similar to the drag back and step overs, you can combine it with a change of direction. So while you do the button input, you change the direction with the left stick and you do the fake shot in that direction. Depending on the context, like your pace, the direction, the player and how many skill stars he has, you can end up with several variations. For example, a scoop turn instead of a regular fake shot. One of the main purposes of the fake shot is to change your direction. So this is similar to the step overs. But what is the difference? With the step overs, you change the direction with the exit move. So you have to do the step overs and then you can change the direction. For the fake shot, this change of direction is directly with the fake shot itself. 
So the direction change is almost immediately as you don't have to do something up front but only go for the button input. Therefore the fake shot is a powerful tool to quickly react to the situation and outmaneuver an opponent to create a goal scoring chance or at least some space in and around the box. For this it's most useful to use it in situations at which you would also consider shooting or passing because then there's actually a chance that your opponent falls for the fake. But the power of it doesn't only lie within the circumstance that your opponent think you would actually shoot, but the change of direction can already catch him off guard. Two further very powerful usages are to do a fake shot to control the ball and to be able to incorporate this with a change of direction as you can see in this example. This can be very mighty to immediately get some space with the control of the ball. A fake shot can be utilized to get standing still. For this you only have to do the button input as explained and let the left stick go back to the neutral position. Such an abrupt way of changing your pace can be already very instrumental to regain control over the situation. For the heel to heel you only have to flick the right stick up and down. But remember, this is always relative to the viewing direction. The heel to heel can be performed by players with 3 star skills, but players with 4 or 5 stars have another animation for which it is a little bit smoother. Finally, we have a skill move which is not reliant on some crazy exit move stuff, but it's just straightforward. You try to find the right spot for the heel to heel and go on. So, what is the right spot? You have an opponent in front of you or a little bit to the side. You then go for the heel to heel and now one of these scenarios can take place. Your opponent tried to challenge you and with a heel to heel you are able to maneuver the ball in a way that he can't get to the ball, but you get passed by him. Or your opponent sees the start of the animation and expects something else, leading him to a false anticipation. The heel to heel is a very quick skill move and since you are going straight ahead with this move, you are able to punish your opponent if he made a mistake with his positioning. Using skill moves is all about practice. You have to practice these on the training ground to make sure that you are able to perform the correct input at the right time. This is especially true for the skill moves that include an exit move as they are mechanically a little bit more challenging with regards to the timing of the stick movement. Since these are basic skill moves and build an important foundation for a flexible and creative attacking play, it's definitely worth to put in the time on the training ground. Also, these moves are strong for several years now, so you shouldn't only benefit from it only in FIFA 20. In our opinion, these are the best basic skill moves in the game. Let us know in the comments if you think we missed a big one. We also plan to release another top 5 skill moves video, but this time about more advanced ones. Check out the video description to see if this video is already published, but also more tutorial videos as part of the guide. And also, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to not miss any of the upcoming videos. In the video description, you can also find a link to our coaching website at which you get more information about our private coaching offers with Pro, Top 100 and Elite players. We put a lot of effort into making this video and we hope it was helpful for you. If so, please leave a like and also share it with your friends. This does help us quite a lot. Thanks for your support and also your attention. Keep a clean sheet. I'm out. <laughs>